What are you doing to promote your restaurant for Easter on social media? Uh, this is my bunny. I never said I was a great artist, but I drew you a bunny for this video. I'm going to break down and share with you three things that you can steal for your restaurant to promote Easter. Now, I have tons of ideas in my restaurant 365 marketing planner, all right? You can get ideas for every single day of the year so you never run out of things to post about on your restaurant social media. So let's dive in and talk about it. Number one is probably the obvious. This is the, this is the fun one that brings it all together. And so make sure you stay around for that. Number one is uh, promoting a, uh, your uh, buffet, your brunch, or maybe you're doing catering. Whatever the food that you're doing that day, make sure you're promoting it, all right? Now, when you promote it, I can't stress this enough. Don't just share a photo of your menu. That's lame. Your, your Easter menu, your brunch menu, where it just has words. Nobody wants to see just words. Show us pictures. Even better, show us people with the food, all right? Tell that story of what people will be getting when they order, all right? So how can you do this? How can you promote it? Well, if you have a database, if you have a customer list, you hear me talk about this all the time, you should be emailing it, you should be texting it, you should be posting about it. Um, you could put table tents. Um, and with this, you always want to be directing people how to order. So that is key. Having some type of ordering platform in place. That's not something we're going to talk about here today, but some way of taking orders. And number two, what's the pickup, especially if it's uh, the catering process. And I should also put in there maybe reservations if you're taking reservations. Give specific call to action. Order, how to pick up, how to make a reservation. Let people know exactly what to do, all right? Number two, I love doing giveaways. And the giveaways are where you put up some type of grand prize, maybe a $50 gift card, all right? And you can ask a simple question, okay? And this would be posted on Facebook or Instagram. And the question might be, tell us your favorite thing about spring in our city, okay? now. Days are getting warmer, you know, spring spring is here, and you're going to get all kinds of great comments about spring. And you're going to select one winner, one person from all those entries will win. They could win a gift card, they could win a brunch for two, they could win catering for five, whatever, because what's that going to do? It's going to promote so more people know about your brunch and your catering, because they're going to be uh, um, signing up to win. and um, it's just going to give you more promotion on your page, more engagement. It's going to get lots of comments, likes, and shares. Love that, all right? Number three, here's the fun one. Uh, do an Easter egg hunt with a twist. This is Easter egg hunt meets Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. So here's what we did before. In um, This was a pizza restaurant. In every single pizza box for to-go orders, we put a plastic egg and inside that plastic egg was some kind of offer. Now, most of them were like a um, like $5 off, uh, $25, or it could be like a free appetizer with two entrees. And, and we did this with paper, but one of them was a golden, uh, a golden egg. And think of it like the golden ticket from Willy Wonka. And so when, when kids got it, when they opened it up, um, I believe we did a $200 gift card. Okay, and so it's a big prize. Everybody loves it. Everybody's excited about it. So what you could do, just go buy some plastic eggs at Target or Walmart or wherever. Buy some plastic eggs, cut off and put some offers in them, and then randomly put a golden egg. You could spray paint one golden. You could do whatever. You can make it the color of your restaurant, whatever it is. And what you're going to do is when you promote that on, um, on uh, Facebook or Instagram, let people know, hey, we're hiding these golden eggs in random boxes, all right? Um, when you order, you never know if you're going to get one or not. And then when people win, take a picture, have them come in, take a picture of them so you can post it on social media so people can see and it builds that excitement. So having an Easter egg hunt inside of your to-go boxes, to-go bags, whatever, could be a lot, a lot of fun. So three ideas, steal these ideas for your um, restaurant. I'd love to hear your ideas as well. And as always, if you want even more, grab my Restaurant 365 Marketing Planner. I'll drop a link below so you can pick that up. 
Hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.